once you get everybody who's healthy and off the weed. Do you okay. guys enjoy the taste of burp boogers and semen? If I wanted to see Michael Fassbender be gay with himself, I would have just watched Assassin's Creed again. Bird feed! Welcome everyone to Bird Feed. Uh, we just got done watching Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> yep. Still reeling it all in. Uh, yeah. So, first part of this uh, video is going to be no spoilers, just our initial reaction, everything else. Uh, and then we'll uh, make sure that we give some time to for you to review that. And then if you want spoilers at your own risk, go ahead and continue watching the video. Um, but yeah, so overall we finished it about, what, 20 minutes ago? Yeah, very recently. Very recently. Uh, we just got out. It is uh, 10.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, mm -hmm. My initial thoughts, it's an amazing movie. I thought it was really good. Uh, I can't rank it right now because I'm still... Yeah, I was going to no, you'd have to do that separately. Yeah, I'm definitely. still taking it all in. I definitely want to view it at least maybe one or two more times. Five more times. Five more times. Five more Six. times. Seven. For sure. $5 uh, uh, tickets on Tuesday at the Pasco <laughs> Theater. <laughs> <laughs> what about the quality? Uh, yeah, well, the quality, man. <laughs> but, uh, Timothy, what would you think overall? I would just say it's probably the, the best best Marvel movie. I'm the best gonna... Marvel movie, even over Black Panther. So initial impressions, like it, that's you think it might be the best. Initial, it, I had to I had to rewatch it again to say for sure that it's better than Black Panther, but it's definitely those two by far, at least in my opinion, are my two. Best so you liked it a lot. Yeah. Okay, because I know uh, from our, our Facebook yeah. post, you're like, I am so excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you know how I get excited. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your face is so obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, what do you think? I thought it was really good. I thought overall, well, solid five, solid, <laughs> solid five, five, out of five out of ten. Yeah, no, I thought it was a great movie. They they jammed a lot into. I mean, it was a long movie, but they put a lot of good storylines into that. Which I was, I didn't actually think they would be able to do well. Yeah, yeah, but. yeah. It was it was nice that like every character kind of seemed to get their moments. Exactly. Uh, the pacing was great. Like you pointed out when the movie was over, like you, once things got going, which was immediate, like it immediately, was, it just, it just kept going. <laughs> there weren't really any lulls. So I, yeah, I, I liked it. Yeah, this this movie is very is it's what it's they said the longest Marvel movie or it's neither, but it's about two and a half hours long. Yep. And uh, from the get go, it's just boom going. And it's a great pace. Each character has their moments. The they all get enough screen time. Uh, I think the Russo brothers did a very good job of making sure each character had enough screen time and, uh, you know, best to their ability, showing everything. Uh, and uh, I'll leave on the fact that it's definitely an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's yeah. <laughs> I I think I thought they did a really good job of not making it predictable, at least right? Especially through the middle parts of the movie because. Uh, consistently, like there were unexpected things happening through the story of the movie. Like, there weren't too many parts in the movie where, like, oh, yeah, I thought that would happen. You know, like, yeah. There's... Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we did guess well, a couple things right. <laughs> I, keep in mind, I am not at all speaking about the ending yet. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. is that is left for spoilers. But the contents of this movie, like, it was it was good from start to finish. You know, I was I probably ninety five percent of it at least. I really, really, really liked. Yeah. And I, uh, it's a definite recommend to see it in theaters. Like, yes, definitely. definitely recommend to see it in theaters. I kind of may want to like make a trip now to our nearest IMAX theater, a couple hundred miles away, oh, or uh, yeah, hundred ish. You'd I'm have a nervous breakdown. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember this the last time. I this video. Um, all right, so that's that's what we got for non spoilers. Um, I, before we get in, even get into spoilers, I I do want to say like. There are some, I think there are some issues with the fact that there are so many characters in this movie. Like, there are some parts where it's like, oh, which, where are we again? We're in space? Okay, that's cool. Yeah. 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 And we're kind of, you're, then it's not just, you know, that there are parts in space, but there's different aspects of the space environment that, that you deal yeah. with. And, and, like, and uh, sorry to interrupt. No, uh, go ahead. What I also liked about it is it had quite a bit of humor for a movie yeah. that, that's set to be so, you know, dark and ominous. There's quite a bit of humor and it works well with the movie yeah it's it doesn't I, it doesn't like to me it didn't take me out of the movie that's where 
I actually disagree with that part. All right. Please for, elaborate. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't want to be the Debbie Downer. No, no, Damn it, Timothy. Like, like the only reason stuff. I say that is only because of the tone of the movie itself. I felt like it wasn't needed at all. Was, okay. it, was it contrasting to you? A little yeah, bit? just a little bit. That's kind of what I was what I was getting at, too. Like, a lot of the stuff that was happening in space was just like, it was like you're watching a different film. Mm-hmm. It was like uh, it, a lot of it felt like Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, like it was along that, those lines. Which, even just when it started, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I don't think it was the... forced humor like how Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two was yeah. a lot of forced humor. Yeah. It was it was genuinely funny. Yeah, like, I was laughing. It's just the stakes were so, raised so high in this movie, and they I'm not going to joke. At the, yeah, at yeah, like at, at certain points, like you kind of thought like everybody would start to realize the levity of the situation and. You know, we wouldn't have Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. literally, it was like a five-minute ongoing mm-hmm. joke. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's the humor was it was consistently funny. There was actually a guy in the theater who almost shit his pants laughing so hard. I don't yeah, know if I heard that. that. <laughs> 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 when nobody else was laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Like five minutes after Devin left, I think. Yeah. Then we have a guy, then we actually have a guy dressed as Spider Man in our theater. We had a uh, Spider Man, Star Lord, and Captain America all in our row. Oh man. Yeah, I'm not getting into spoilers, but those right. guys. Oh, yeah, Black Widow too. <laughs> oh yeah, that lady was Black Widow. She was the Shield Black Widow. Woo. Yeah, I pay attention. Uh. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> clearly <laughs> we got to get into spoilers now because uh, yeah, so <laughs> got to talk about some plot points and that ending. Yeah, spoilers. spoilers. Walk away now. So I'm just gonna let it be known. All right, we're back. <laughs> okay. Just my gripe of the movie. Gripe. Bruce Banner, Hulk. Yes. You don't need mm-hmm. to be in the movie at all. Inconsequential. Absolutely yeah. not needed at all. <laughs> and, no way. And in the very beginning, when when Loki has the, the test rack and he goes, we have a Hulk. I was like, yes! Oh, and you yeah. get that, it's what, maybe 20 seconds? It, of... it didn't even last long, because as he attacked him, the guy goes, let him play. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know Thanos is going to just kick ass. And before you said, I got super excited, like, oh, that okay. That was great, yeah. I actually, right. In my head, I, I can't, I don't know the name of it, but I know Hulk has this part where he can literally just go insane, like, nuclear, I don't know, yeah, whatever. something along yeah. those lines. Whatever it is, I'm like, okay, let's see what he can actually do. And no, I'm just playing around with you. Pop, pop, pop. Go away. Yeah. And, and I... <laughs> <clears throat> Again, did we see Hulk anymore in this film after that? Nope. Scene? Sure didn't. No. Nope. <laughs> sure fucking did. Did, did they tease the shit out of Hulk coming <laughs> they back? They sure did. Yeah. And which is crazy because we were talking about that the what, the very first trailer that came out, the last like scene is like Captain America and all them running in Wakanda, yeah. and you see the Hulk it's himself, but that wasn't there. So that that was cut for whatever reason. If that's part two, but uh. yeah, that that and that, that is something I do want to touch on, like. If you've seen the trailers of this movie, like do they are intentionally put out to dismay or like confuse you? Yeah, because they do a lot of like careful editing cuts in those trailers. That yeah, and, a lot of it does happen in the movie, but the context it's very yeah. Like, the, like Marvel, the same. yeah, Marvel did a lot of uh, uh, CGIing. Yeah, in I the trailers, yes. <laughs> there was even like specific lines that uh, they were in the movie, but they were delivered differently. Right? Did you notice that? Yep. Like in and actually the t- the tone of their voice like made a total difference in how that came across too. Yeah, wasn't the, wasn't Captain America supposed to like have some lines at that point when Thanos was pretty much trying to crush him? I, well, no, I, I the trailer. See, I mean, the, but again, that was the editing. Yeah. Like they had kind of like a voiceover thing going on okay. in, in one yeah. of those trailers. Yeah, and also in that trailer at that time, Thanos only had two stones, but when in actually he had. Five of the six. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of his camp. yeah, big Cap. spoiler. He has five stones at that scene. <laughs> at that scene, <laughs> five uh, stones. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, we'll we'll start off. Uh, we quickly uh, see the deaths of Hemdall and Loki. Loki. Yeah. Um, Loki, which the uh, Thanos kind of made a point that he is definitely dead. Uh, <laughs> you forgot. You leaving out one more though. Death of Hulk. Death of Hulk. <laughs> did you see Hulk in the rest of the movie? Because I sure did. Oh, Timothy, we just got through that spoiler. <laughs> no, but, she, but he's totally right. But Hulk's scared though, that's, me, and that's why Hulk wasn't coming out. Is the Hulk scared? Yeah, Hulk scared. Hey, the Hulk is a pussy. He's a why, and why didn't one person just shoot him in the head? There you that's go. no, I'm dead serious. Right? If you want the that Hulk to come out, shoot him in the head. Yeah. Try that. That's the one thing Hulk doesn't want Bruce to die. Yeah. yeah. 
He'll protect him no matter what, supposedly, even though he's bipolar. He's right. a fucking Well, pussy. Iron Man even says that in a moment. He goes, do you need a shot to the head? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and I was like, just do it. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen, too. Uh, which I really loved that initial uh, New York City battle. That was with, great, yeah. With Strange and Spider-Man and uh, Wong and, uh, and uh, Iron Man. Doctor and, Strange, I think, kind of stole stole the show. In a lot Doctor of ways, Strange was did. a badass in this movie. I, I oh, it, sure, you know. I kind of, I kind of, <laughs> the same way with uh, Black Panther and Civil War, kind of was his coming out party. Yeah, I put that with Doctor Strange in this movie. Oh yeah, Doctor Strange kicks just total ass in this movie, and he's basically on that part. He's like, I'm protecting the Time Stone. I don't give a fuck about anything. He, and he even says, "Strike to Tony." <laughs> I don't care if you or the kid dies, I'm protecting the stone. Like, <laughs> Which, yeah, later in the movie, Woo! seems a little spoiler. strange. Yeah. <laughs> huge, a little huge, strange. Huge, I like that one. Uh, huge spoiler. Uh, later in the movie, he is, uh, his allegiance to that, that stone kind of goes out the window yeah. very quickly. Grows before stones. Grow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a very good line. <laughs> that should be the tagline for the movie. Right. <laughs> Grows before stones. Uh, so... Uh, uh, what did you guys think of, uh, I know I, I predicted it in our video, the appearance, reappearance of uh, Red Skull. I thought that when when we did the uh, the predictions one, I thought that would have been a very cool idea. But I was like, it might be far-fetched. Right. But the way they did that in the movie, I thought it was really cool. And he was very mysterious. Yeah. And he's still kind of that mysterious figure. Like the Exactly. Way, the way I wanted more ends. Red Skull at that point. I thought we yeah, were going to. such a cool looking dude. I thought we were going to get more. I think, I think we may get a little more in the, the next one. Yeah. Um, he's, especially he's still alive. Yeah, especially since know. and and here's another spoiler: the Soul Stone is not on Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> yep, not even close. It is on a far hidden planet, which uh, the Red Skull's on. And basically, to get the Soul Stone, you have to give a soul. And uh, after capturing Gamora, Thanos kills her. Uh, tossed yeah. off the cliff. You know, that is like midway through and the she movie. Breaks her neck. But I did want to ask you guys, did you find that scene to be cheap? The soul, the whole soul stone part? Just like, uh, I thought it was a little bit it. predictable. Uh, I thought they were going to go something towards where Thanos is trying to court death. So when he was saying you have to give up something you love, so he was going to have to do something with you know, death itself. Yeah, like it, something that mm. would would go into the overall story about right. Thanos a little bit more. Instead, it was it was very like it was a strange world to him, and he was like a he's kind of fish out of water. Yeah, in that scene, and you actually saw like a teary eyed Thanos. Oh, there was there was tears with Thanos. <laughs> hey, that, man, that you know, part, sometimes you gotta shed a tear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that scene right there. I mean, I like that they gave uh, more more personality to his character, and like you kind of understand where he's coming from a little bit more. But at the same time, like he, what, what he's crying over is that he has to kill his daughter or stepdaughter, yeah. or whatever you want to call her. And, the only and, person he loves, apparently. But earlier in the movie, you totally get the feeling like he's ready to kill this bitch immediately, right? <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> I, I, I was fighting with that with him only because mm -hmm. he he literally he messes with her emotions too. But you yep. can see deep down, gun her is she fucking loves him just as it's a bad crazy relationship between the both of them. Yeah, which were I'd like to it'd be nice if we kinda of, they expand on that a little bit more too. And I right. did like the kind of the flashbacks, but I will I would like to see more either before or after he pretty much adopts her. Yeah. Right, he, right. What's that father daughter relationship like? Because they were kind of explaining his backstory on the fly, which they did a pretty decent job of, but it would be nice like because like you said in our prediction also, um the only fifth Thanos we've really seen was in Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Right. We don't really see, like, all of his motivations and, like, what created this crazy monster that you're dealing with in this movie. Yeah. And I, and I thought they did of uh, the collection of the stones pretty well. They didn't show how he got the power stone. They quickly mentioned that he basically decimated uh, Xandar. Um, Is that the shitty elf world? <laughs> no, that that's what? the uh, the world where, like, John C. Riley's chilling with Glenn Close. Oh, okay. Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy. To get, the, to get that stone. Yeah, the purple stone. And then... Uh, um, he gets the Tesseract right in the beginning. Uh, he gets the Reality Stone from the Collector. He, uh, he fucks with the Guardians, basically, <laughs> on that. Uh, and, see, and then uh, the Soul Stone, where he kills Gamora. Uh, basically, Doctor Strange hands him the Time Stone in exchange for Tony Stark's life. Um, and then that very ending where he gets the uh, Mind Stone, which we'll dive in a little bit. But before that, what do you think of the uh, Wakanda scene? Like... Basically, that battle. 
Uh, so very, we're talking about the the scene at the very end of the movie. Basically. Not the not the very very end, but just the just overall that, battle. Just that that going. war. Um, in the, okay, and so this is where I have a problem with this movie. <laughs> like that's where it all kind of gets going. Is Wakanda the the last movie we saw in the MCU in theaters, the one that came out literally months, just two months before this was Black Panther. Yeah, Wakanda was built up like in a very cool way. Like the technology, like what what's what what they're capable of in this city in this village, like it seemed like all the promise was going to be in this place. And like, if you're going to, if you need to save humanity, let's go here. Right. And when they went there, like there was just a lot of bumbling going on. Like, okay. The, the most important thing in this area is vision. Yes. We need vision protected no matter what, (laughs) for obvious reasons. Because at this point in the movie, uh, Thanos has five out of the six stones on his fucking gauntlet. And so once the battle commences or once the battle starts, all the Avengers that are there are on the battlefield, and there's only, what, one person protecting him? Right. Essentially, there's the, cool, the, the Wakandan guards yeah. are cool, and uh, the Scarlet mm-hmm. Witch is there, but she bounces the hell out of there yeah. quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, there's problems? I guess I better go do yeah. some. Yeah. And, like, what, I mean, the, and she sounded so confident, uh, the uh, the sister, yeah. um, Black Panther's sister, she sounded so confident that she'd be able to remove this. And it's not like she'd be able to do it, like, effectively. And there's just the like there's literally like minutes where you're just watching a laser on on the stone on the forehead. Did you notice um like right before Vision actually left the room where she literally was like and it's not for just and literally was about yeah, to be done with it. Like, I thought she was. What the fuck are you doing the whole time yes, for like the past I, half hour? That was, that was that's where my head was at too. I was like, "Oh, she's got it. She's got this taken yeah. care of. Like she's she's the ace in the hole." I think that scene was actually a, like a rush scene. Yeah, it, that, it, it almost felt it, it the, felt like a, a writing issue or something. Yeah. yeah. But the battle itself was very uh, fun to watch. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It, it was it was quite a bit of action. Uh, uh, Bruce Banner's in the Hulkbuster um, um, suit, which was uh, interesting. So he kind of not Hulk, but yeah, it feels like but, we're complaining a lot. But the, that's another thing I did not like in this movie. I didn't. I thought you brought up him like like literally Hulk in the Hulkbuster, and that's what I thought. That's too. what I thought was going to happen. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Yeah, that's what I was especially for. okay, especially after in the beginning when he f- fights Thanos and you see that he's undermatched. It's like, oh, they're going to put the Hulk in the Hulkbuster outfit, right? And it's just going to be his powers magnified. But he we didn't did, get that. Even mentioned that he got his ass kicked with the Hulkbuster. I'm like, okay, so. Yeah. Or not use it, and he, no. he, like even when he was using it, like and he was he was fighting what seemed like lesser foes, like he still he, 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 didn't he do literally shit. was a klutz. Yeah, he was. He was like he looked like you know Woody when you see Woody jog yep. in Toy Story, <laughs> <laughs> just bouncing around the battlefield. <laughs> Doctor Strange was way more badass than Hulk right. in this movie, <laughs> and I agree too. I think Doctor Strange stole the show. Like you see a lot more of his powers, uh, mm. and you know he is the master of the mystic arts, and he. Basically went toe to toe with Thanos, yeah. for the most part. Like he was, he outsmarted him. He outsmarted him as best as he can. Uh, and there's uh, a moment where they basically almost have Thanos and and uh, basically restrain, about to take the gauntlet off. Quill fucks it up. But Peter Quill fucks it up because uh, Thanos killed oh, Gamora. That was rough too. That was pretty rough. Uh, <laughs> do we want to get into now the the final? <laughs> Yeah, there's so much to cover. We're trying to keep this quick. Right, right. Uh, a, this is a long movie. It's two hours and forty, almost three hours. Yeah, you know? but I think I think the biggest top or talk we want to have is the, the ending. Very ending. ending. Uh, so the very ending, ending. Uh, we see Thanos basically. Uh, he has the five stones. Arrives on Earth. Uh, Captain America and whatever's rest of the Avengers on Earth basically run at him to try and stop him, but nothing's working. Vision looks at Scarlet Witch, tells her, you know, you have to kill me. You have to destroy the stone. Uh, so, you know, Scarlet Witch is doing that. She's trying to destroy the stone, holding back Thanos. And she succeeds. She destroys the stone. Which you'd be like, wow, they did it. But, but unfortunately, <laughs> uh, Thanos does have the time stone. Which in the pre- <laughs> scene right before that, Doctor Strange surrenders the time stone. Yes. Uh, so, uh, oh, and by the way, Thor has a new hammer. Just yeah, so that's, yeah, that's also new cool. axe. Yes, yeah. new uh, uh, Stormbreaker. Uh, <laughs> uh, like so, how you cover my beard there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so uh, Scar- uh, Thanos re- re- reverses time, uh, brings Vision back to life. Basically, then grabs him by a choke chokehold, rips the stone out of his hand. 
puts the mind stone in the gauntlet and now he has all six stones uh they still try to fight him off but it doesn't work thor uh thor comes up with his new axe uh stabs thanos right in the chest you know you're like fuck they did it you know they stopped him mm-hmm. and thanos looks at him and he goes you should have gone for the head or the hand yeah he should have gone for the head <laughs> and as soon as he said that the iconic he snapped his fingers yes and uh you see thanos uh, looks like on a strange planet. Look, talking to uh, yeah, it, it, it looks like a yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, so I, I'm not sure what that on, but she goes, "Did you do it?" And he said, "Yes." And she goes, "You know, was it worth everything?" And he's or what did it cost you? What did it cost you? And he said everything, and she asked if it was worth it. And he said, I yes. think that's him using his uh, what is it, the reality, the red, which one? Yeah, is the red that's, stone? that's how that kind of came yeah, across. Like I think maybe he, he he pretty much puts himself like, in a, like in I a can peaceful. create my own reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so he's at peace now. Uh, yeah, so and then uh, uh, cut back to Earth. You know, they're like, what happened? What happened? You know, what'd you do? What'd you do? Thanos runs off, uh, and. You know, they're all just standing there happening, and then you see Bucky. Real quick, real quick, before oh, you oh, go oh, here. Oh. So, in our predictions, uh, well, I'm just, I don't, I'm sorry. In our predictions, you said that you thought Captain America might die in this movie. Timothy said he thought Spider Man might die in this movie, and you, get, you guys both gave your reasoning. There was a scene before uh, we thought Thanos might be dead before he snapped his fingers where it looked like Captain America just got murdered. Yeah, he got punched pretty hard in the face. I thought that did kill him. Like, <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. You didn't really don't see that after he he grabbed his hands, Thanos with his other uh-huh. hand, and just, just getting yeah, clo- To me, uh, it was more of like, oh, he's knocked out. Uh, I honestly I thought, got, I thought, I thought, thought he, he was gonna. Die. I thought, I thought think... he was gonna crush him, but then he just punched him in the face. <laughs> which, <laughs> which if he if he died that way, like that would have been interesting. And that would have been. And then, like you said, then Vision dies right after that. So up to that point in the movie, uh, Gamora had died, Loki had died. Um, Hemdall died. Hemdall died. Uh, Hulk. Uh, <laughs> Hulk <laughs> was not present. <laughs> I'm not so, like, we, that one go. We had, and then we thought Captain America died at that yeah. point. I, I, I was with Devin. I kind of thought, like, okay, so, maybe, so, maybe they are going to kill him right here, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. The only reason I say that to me when I looked at him just being knocked out was because it literally, if he would have died, it, it, at he, that just, scene, he just went down. There was no yeah, crunch or anything, yeah. right? And there was no like zoom in. On I think if it was him dying, it would have been like music build up. Yeah, or, or like everybody stops fighting, caps down. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I just, I think I was kind of hoping, like, I, not that I want Captain America to die. I was hoping that, like, oh, this is like the the leader that's gonna yeah. die. But also Iron Man. We thought was dead. For I was sure we thought Iron Man was die. gonna die too because he got we skipped over that part. He got yeah, he got stabbed by Thanos by his own armor. He got Superman and Batman v Superman <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like hardcore. Yeah. So I, again, I'm sorry for interrupting. His armor is great, yeah. by the way. But what, what actually happened at the end? Oh yeah, by, uh, real fast. The nanotechnology for Iron Man's armor is badass. Oh, that was so to cool. the T. He uh, kept regenerating as he was. Oh fighting. yeah, that was badass. Uh, so yes. Oh, and the Iron Man uh, Iron Spider suit, fucking loved it. Oh yeah. Uh, it had four arms instead of three. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I, I didn't say it was. That's what it was going to be in the movie. Just to clarify. I know. I know. Anyways, uh, so yes, uh, and I'm I'm sorry. Uh, Michael's wife Julie is in the background. The most the, the the first saddest part of this movie, Bucky's running towards uh, Captain America. It says Steve, and then all of a sudden Bucky's Ash. Uh, <laughs> And then you quickly start seeing different shots of uh, what was it? then was Black Panther. How are you gonna kill Black Panther? Oh. Please explain. Black Panther, me. Falcon, Ash, uh, Groot, Ash, Star Lord, Ash, Star Lord, Ash, Spider Man, Ash, Spider Man, uh, Ash. Spider-Man. The Spider Man one hit me a little bit because he was sitting there. I don't feel so he good. Goes, I don't feel so good. But when he was like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And then, like, Tony's He's holding like, my him. Baby. <laughs> Dr. Strange is like, my babies! <laughs> Dr. Strange is the, back! The best bit. <laughs> so there's Dr. Strange, and you don't want to go to Ash! I love my children, my dad, <laughs> You got that. <laughs> Dr. Strange's Ash. Dr. Yeah. Strange dies. He's just um, sitting on oh, his yeah, rock. See you later, Tony! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the biggest douchebag because I call Tell I call Wall, it. I, it back. <laughs> I feel like the biggest douchebag because I call like you're gonna die, he, Peter. I'm sorry. Yeah. Timothy he, called the Spider Man after his hate on Spider Man uh, 
PS4. I think that's the next uh, Spider-Man uh, cameo uh, suit that they're gonna have <laughs> oh, is yeah. Ash Spider-Man <laughs> <laughs> on PS4. Like he just <laughs> don't try pressing any buttons. Yeah. He'll fade away. <laughs> You'll die. <laughs> You're gonna snap with a finger in the background. Yeah. <laughs> this game sucked. <laughs> it sucked. Xbox is better. <laughs> Worst DLC ever. <laughs> Worst game ever. Uh, yeah. So basically, we'll see the last so who's so who's left? Uh, quote from, unquote. From my remember quote left. Unquote, yeah. uh, Nebula and Rocket are the only Guardians of the Galaxy left. Yeah. Nebula. Iron Man's left. By the way, Nebula and Iron Man are on Titan. Yeah, Thanos' <laughs> home planet by themselves. By themselves. Where the hell are they gonna go? <laughs> Who knows? Uh... The and then, host. and then in Wakanda we have uh, Captain America, Black Widow, Black Widow, War Machine, Hulk, and Thor. And then you mean Bruce Banner? Bruce and Banner. And then guys, sorry, we is get there, the best. Any, oh, hold on, best post credit scene ever. Hold on, real fast. <laughs> there is no Hawkeye or Ant Man or Wasp present at all in this movie. Uh, they quickly mention that Hawkeye and Ant Man are retired and in um, house arrest. arrest. So, so when when house arrest happens, it doesn't matter if the right. world's ending. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta do your chores. Yeah. You got you got the bracelet on. The police yeah. will get you. Only Hawkeye would just be in the Mom background. Mom said I gotta anyways. be I gotta be home before the street yeah. lights come on. It's like I'm gonna shoot just an arrow. Let me pull it out of my quiver. <laughs> I'm emo. Wait, what was the turn to ash? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> right in front of his kids. Oh, that would have been heartbreaking. The, uh, <laughs> the check from Freaks and Geeks. <laughs> yeah. Quite a strange sidekick. What's his name? Wong. He's, oh. From what I could tell, he's still alive because they didn't show. Yeah, he was just okay. MIA after he got captured, right? Yeah. 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 Gotta, I gotta go protect this thing. See you later. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wants to warn the others. Uh, so, yes. And then uh, there's only one post credit scene, uh, which, man, those credits felt like they took forever, too. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> that, was half, that was half the move, right? There. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, so the credits uh, you see uh, Maria Hill and Nick Fury driving. And then all of a sudden, like, chaos happens because people are disappearing, going turning into ash. Uh, you you uh, see Maria Hill look at Fury and go, she's a Nick or something, you know. Mm-hmm. Or this is a code red. And then she just... She did. She did. <laughs> and then Fury grabs Mother his device, fuck. presses a button. <laughs> Mother and, Man, they should have just let it. You get yeah. one fuck, you yeah. know. <laughs> they should have let it. And he goes, Mother And he's ash. <laughs> And then the but device he's in, yeah. he's sending a page like a yeah. intergalactic page yeah, or something. Like intergalactical page, you know. So <laughs> yeah, so my you space see, like, credits. It's basically like a big ass pager. It's you know saying transmitting, and then it shows the Captain Marvel logo. Yeah. So definitely, yeah. she is going to unlock the recipe to fix everything. Yeah, but you know what's crazy though is that, or and then we see, uh, well, that's basically the end of the movie. Like the end of the movie, Thanos wins. Like the. I, I applaud the Russo brothers for not killing Thanos in this movie. Like, it just being, you know, a, a one movie. Yeah, because that, that would have been the only thing that would have bothered me Because the more. next movie is definitely a part two, and I'm really glad it's part two because I was trying not to yell at other fanboys. Like, no, it's separate movies. Like, okay, okay, yeah, but no. They just changed the title, that's it. Yeah. I'm trying to save my thoughts on that because can is the next one going to be called Avengers? Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, oh, Disney already released their uh, lineup, and it says Avengers. Uh, they've said that there's Aven- it's Avengers Untitled. 4. Like, that's what they've been saying, <laughs> Avengers 4, this whole yeah. time. But, like, can no, you re- can you really call it Avengers if this if this ending really holds, uh, holds a candle? You can either call it Of or Avengers, because there's only half of them. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's called Urs. <laughs> the Urs. <laughs> the Gers. <laughs> okay, so thoughts on the ending? I loved it. Uh... It was uh, somewhat of a cliffhanger-ish. Uh, I was okay with it. I I really wish either Iron Man or Captain America died. Um, I think I think it would have hit a lot more emotionally, uh, you know, and and stakes wise. Um, How can you not be excited that your guy's still alive though? Yeah. I am. I. I, I I am, um, but I mean, uh, you've been pretty like much yourself for a year with Bucky's. This one, Bucky's just as big for you. Captain America, Bucky, like, <laughs> and, you know, I'm with you till the end of the line, and there's no more line. <laughs> It'll be okay, <laughs> there's no the more line. The line's gone. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Michael's like, oh, no, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, both of you. But no, I I really enjoyed the movie a lot. I. Uh, can't wait to see it again. I can't wait to come on Blu-ray and DVD. Probably what September-ish. 
Yeah. Uh, I, I just can't wait. It's it was, it was everything I expected. I'm glad you're happy with it, honestly. I'm very happy because I know there's a lot of build up for this for you and stuff. And oh yeah, this whole day I've been just been I couldn't even focus at work. I was, I I literally haven't even changed my work clothes. I wore my Avengers shirt under my dress shirt at work. Like you're an actual superhero. Yeah, I'm not even wearing a hat. Like, (laughs) oh dang, you guys didn't even know this. I haven't had this is the first time I've been home all day. Like, (laughs) I was wearing my Captain America helm. Yeah. (laughs) Safety! <laughs> it's my well, safe zone. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate it yeah, when, for this movie being the tone of it, where we've seen so many of the Marvel Fox movies where we get these trailers and they're supposed to be dark and edgy and complete polar opposite. This one, from the trailers, you didn't really get that vibe, but when you got to it and watched it, sat and watched it, you appreciated it. It wasn't all... Happy, it was, it was happy, right? Yeah, right. It felt happy. there wasn't a happy ending. <laughs> yeah, I, I think for any actual child ten and under, they're gonna be surprised. They might honestly, they might not like this movie only because it's literally there's death. I know, it's like oh, it's, it's like it's such a. I know, oh, my, I know. Yeah. I plan on taking my kids to when I get them back next weekend. Uh, I plan on taking them to see, go what see they it. Think of it. And I already know they're gonna ask me like a million questions. I'm, and I'm just gonna have to tell them, you know, at this time they're gone. There's nothing you can say. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can watch the cartoons; they're still allowed. But yeah. as, as regards to this universe, they're dead. Like Hulk and Spider Man are like their favorites, and so the death of both. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they're gonna be pretty upset. <laughs> so the ending in particular, what did you? What was your takeaway? I don't know. I, I wanted more. It, it literally more. left me. I could say is Thanos it, to me was literally the best part of the movie. I yes, love, I, love I Thanos wanted to say that too. Was, he was yeah. like one of the best villains they've had. Bob oh yeah, oh yeah, they, they nailed it with Thanos. Especially, it's a, it's a you know what 2012 with Avengers until now like six, six years. years. We've been waiting to see They've been guy. hyping of Thanos and he delivers. Like yep. you try, I mean they you have like this somewhat sympathy for him too. Like you know. You kind of felt like he tells you what his plan is. He he, the the universe is not balanced. You know, he even said, you know, he, he started with his own planet. There was too many people, you know, which mm-hmm. caused basically the the planet to start, you know, dying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only way for it was genocide. Yeah, you understood his 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 thinking, and uh, and uh, his Gamora's planet, planet the same thing. He what he told her. You know, she goes, "You killed half my people." He's like, "But the half that's there now." Are thriving. Are thriving. Mm-hmm. They have full bellies. They have, you know, the the stars. You know, it wasn't even close to that. When she was a kid, they were literally, like I said, they're yeah. dying. In which, since it seems like there are obviously people that are left on planet Earth who survived his mass genocide, uh, it's, it is going to be interesting to see how they handle that in the next movie. But my, my big issue with the ending is we know that these people aren't dead. Like that's it, that's not possible that they're just gonna have all these characters just be dead. I don't know. Never the, the gauntlet was ruined. Like it was. Uh, that's the whole purpose of it. Once you do that, is it? With the gauntlet. Really. But then, but then, like your whole theory about him like creating his own reality and stuff. Where's like, my comic? The comic somewhere. Oh, it's over there. The ending. Thanos is still alive. <laughs> yes, he, he is. What I have a feeling is just. The only stone that matters at this point will be the time stone. The green one, that's the time right, stone. Right, yeah. I have a feeling somehow, some way, that's going to be used. And, and, and then the soul stone itself can bring back uh, the dead. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, um, I have a feeling there's going to be something where it's like they had all this great story in, the, in this one here. And we'll get to the second one. He, like you said, if they're all not dead, it's going to be like... At the no, end no, of the movie, no, 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 they're dead. Right, they're dead right now. But, but I mean, they're coming back. They're going mean. to come back. There's, no, this, there's no chance that they won't. Like, that's what I mean. In the yeah, second, you're yeah. going to literally have, every, at the end of that movie, everybody's alive. Like, because you can't call it point. Avengers also. like you, they, you, you take away so much when you just remove literally over half of the characters that we've, we've come to know over the past few years. And I, I totally agree with you. Like, they, they have to be back on screen because there has to be something that brings them back together, whether it's resurrecting them, taking them out of limbo, whatever. Because, like... Even when we're watching all these characters die as as the before the credits roll, you're not really watching them die. You just see them like kind of fade away into yeah. the ether. Like there was no impactful moment for any of their deaths. Like it, it was the most boring death scenes I've ever seen in a movie. Honestly, I think if it would have been like with Tony Stark, where you literally think 
He literally killed them. Yes, him. yes. That exactly. would have made more sense exactly. other than just, oh, they're just a fading away. Yeah, those were that was a moment. Like, when you thought Tony Stark was, I was like, oh, shit. That, he's dead. This is it. And then, nope, we're not going to mm-hmm. let that if happen. If anything, I would have thought uh, maybe Spider-Man would have came in at that point, tried to save him, and then he dies. Yeah, yeah, it, <laughs> anything. Like, I thought Doctor Strange might die right there. Like, there was three or four characters kind of within, like, a 20-minute period who were all substantial Marvel characters that... They could have they could have killed off in a very like hardcore like oh Jesus Christ what did I just watch kind of kind of way but instead we got these them fading away like when when Bucky goes away like I was I kind of like did a double take I looked over at Devin like oh is he dead like <laughs> like I honestly was like oh, okay he's gone I guess it just I, it, it didn't have any weight the ending didn't have any weight to me because I know that they're gonna come back. Spider Man 2 has already been announced, and I don't want to hear the whole timeline thing. But like, we already know there's a Spider Man 2 happening, so he's gonna be back. Do <laughs> do we? He, yeah, he, it's, he, it was just confirmed. Like Miles Morales is his death. What if, uh, what if it was Spider Verse? There's uh, other ones. <laughs> Doctor Strange mentions that he went to like over a million different universes. Oh yeah, by the way, the the guy in the theater who mm-hmm. probably has never heard of number higher than 14 million. <laughs> he was like, "Whoa! <laughs> That's what I was 14 talking about. million?" Now, that's a good oh. question though. Cuz Doctor Strange before he dies says it's the only way. He said there's only one scenario where they win. Is this a scenario or not? Exactly. Uh, exactly. I, I think I think they were close to it, but I think Peter's Peter Quill's I don't know how you call it like emotions like Check yourself, bro. Like, <laughs> no, I was talking about when he gives up the time stone. Oh, one scenario where they win, and, and at the very end, before he dies, he told Tony it's the only way. Yes. So is that the scenario he was talking about? There's, or not? there's going to be some kind of a wink and a nod that happens in the next movie where they, they are able to pull things back together and, and obviously fight. What if it's just a, a reality made by Thanos? That exactly. Like, just to that, literally just to mess with their minds. When you said like when he went off to possibly a reality he created before he snapped his fingers or whatever the case mm-hmm. was, I could totally see that being the case. Like it's a very open ended way to end the movie. Like the, it, it didn't feel concrete to me at all. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of getting at. And is and I know enough about the way Disney operates, and I'm not trying to like get into the logistics, but I know I know how movie studios who make money operate, and they're not going to say, oh, Black Panther, how much did that make us? Over a billion dollars. We're not gonna make a sequel to that. Dead. <laughs> it, it, like, it you only like, get one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no bra- black privilege. Yeah. Because like, oh, oh, what? <laughs> oh, oh. You tried black, you guys. <laughs> you thought you were gonna get more? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> you know. Oh, it's black kitties. Get him out of here. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> just let me leave. Yeah. Oh man, you guys are awful. Should we wrap it up there with uh, racist Mickey Mouse? Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Those characters are coming back though. I'm telling you right now. I, and as far as my point, like I, I thought the ending was was impactful for me, but I, I agree too. I have a feeling they're gonna come back, but I still say, not all of them. I, and, and I agree with that, but when we remember when we were doing our, our predictions thing, when we were talking about what Marvel does all the time with their writing, like you think something serious is going to happen, they pull away. What's going to happen is like we didn't get Captain America killed in this movie, but I you almost know. guarantee he's going to kill in the next movie. Yeah, Iron Man might also get killed in that might movie, also get killed. but they're going to bring back all the ancillary characters that they still made part two and part three for. Right. I'm just Spider Man's coming back, and I'll, I guarantee that part. So there's no chance he's dead. Let's put it because you, if you think. Not all of them will come back. Who do you think for sure wouldn't come back? If you had to pick right now, if even if it's one or Dr. two, Doctor Stephen Strange. Uh, I, I would say Scarlet Witch wouldn't come back, um, just basically because I mean, they're she, technically getting too. they're technically getting the X Men. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. We can get rid of you now. Yeah, don't need you. <laughs> Disposable. <laughs> you know, <laughs> gonna make some cash money. Yeah. Cash money. And then uh, I can see Falcon not returning. Uh, it has to be one of them. Falcon or Bucky has to return to take over Cap. If Cap dies, if Cap dies, I'm saying I, I am. I am. I am Bucky. Cap. I think Bucky's coming back. Uh, but it's it has to be one of them to me. Like to move on in the to me with the Bucky. I still I I get like I know the comics they keep Bucky as. Uh, the new Captain America, but then they 
this the, this universe they're referring so, to the white wolf or whatever. I think that's just something that's some racist right? stuff. Because because the because in the comics of Black Panther, White Wolf is his brother. Oh, okay. So I, I'm not sure where they're going with that. It's it's throwing me off a little bit, but I mean it's you got a black panther, why can't there be a white panther, Timothy? <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you guys yeah. gotta get something too, right? right? <laughs> We can't have all the. They have a white, like a white, white wolf, white panther movie. And like, <laughs> ten racist people are gonna show up, and they're like, "Busted!" <laughs> I'm gonna dress up like the white panther. <laughs> Donald Trump, where are you? <laughs> I'm Trump. <laughs> it definitely feels like um, it kind of feels like the old guard passing the torch to the new guard too, which is why I think like the literally the aging characters will probably be get killed off by the end of the next Avengers movie. Yeah. But um, even I actually thought Thor would have died like halfway through the movie. I, I can't wait for it. It's so I could Thor is one of those I could see actually not dying. It, that's a that's a toss up to me. Especially but, after uh, the success I, it of feel like he, he was going to die in this movie though. By the way, what happened, I thought, to, yeah. what happened to Korg and Valkyrie? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I know, where is Valkyrie? <laughs> and uh, and what's the little uh, uh, Crawley thing? Mm, uh, Meek? 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 Yeah, where's Meek? And where's Doug? Yeah. <laughs> Doug. Probably got squashed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So those, those three characters, they were not mentioned anything. But uh, real fast, because I know we're, we're getting up there in time real quick. Did you think the uh, Thor getting an eyeball was pretty stupid? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was, yes. his eye patch is cool. So I thought right. I, I dig the eye patch. Like, yep. It was bad. The one, it happens in the comics anyway. Just leave it. Right. The, yeah. the one yeah, thing it, with, it looked right with too. Thor, though, is... Once he gets the hammer, it's like he's literally OP. He can pretty much go against Thanos. Where by the hell himself. was he that what whole was the time? Whole... <laughs> <laughs> he kick, he was kicking ass in the battlefield. He didn't look around like where is everybody? Yeah, he didn't need any help. Like it literally, he got his new weapon. Yeah, once Thor there showed up, everybody should have ran back to Vision yeah. right then. Like, oh, this guy's got it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> right. I know. I'm gonna bring up Hulk one more time. His movie was. The Thor movie. Yep, that, and that's the only movie he's yep. getting apparently. You, we finally, he finally got his one movie. We got the. What whole if we movie. get Edward Norton back? <gasps> <gasps> yeah, Miles Morales and Edward Norton. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good times. Yep. All right. Well, that's what we have for our Avengers: Infinity War review. Uh, definitely a movie for sure. Uh, if you've seen it, let us know what you thought of it. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet. And for some reason, dove into spoilers. Let us know what you think. Uh, comment, like, share, spread the word. Everything. Uh, thanks so much for watching Bird Feed. Have a good night. So, later. Make sure to follow, like, and subscribe to Bird Feed PC. All our pages on SoundCloud, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube are all Bird Feed PC. All lowercase, all one word.